Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Duran, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about tubal disease in patients that are pursuing pregnancy. What we often see is that patients that have blocked tubes have what we call a hydrosalpinx. A hydrosalpinx is a tube that's blocked at the end and is filled with fluid, and sometimes that the fluid can fluctuate during the cycle. But the important thing to understand is that the fluid itself is toxic to the embryo. So that if you were to do in vitro fertilization in the presence of, of a hydrosalpinx, that the fluid that is toxic would drain into the uterus because it has nowhere else to go, and it would damage the embryo and often prevent pregnancy from occurring. The important thing is that in the past, we've tried to open up these tubes surgically by doing either laparoscopy or robotic surgery to open up the end of the tube. And invariably, the fallopian tube will scar closed again. And what it means is that it, you're wasting time and the patient's um, you know, time by doing surgery that's not effective at solving the problem. The only way to solve a problem when you have a hydrosalpinx is to surgically remove the tube or at a minimum to clip the tube where it joins the uterus so that the fluid can no longer drain into the uterus. And that's important to understand and we've known this as long as far back as 1993 when experiments were performed where the fluid from the hydrosalpinx was placed into a petri dish with embryos and we found out that the embryos would be damaged by this fluid. So the important thing is that saving the fallopian tube if it's not healthy is um, not going to be effective at achieving a healthy pregnancy through IVF and the best thing to do is to remove the damaged fallopian tube. In some cases it's only one tube. In other cases both tubes need to be removed. But the important thing to understand is that you do not need fallopian tubes to have a baby. All you need are eggs that come from your ovaries and a healthy uterus and the uterus will be much healthier if the fallopian tubes with toxic fluid are no longer draining that fluid into the uterus.